how big a deal is it to get the Triple G fight in? How, and uh, is, what the likelihood is it to be a Cowboy State in Dallas? Because I'm from the Metroplex. We hear you and Jerry been been chumming it up. Yeah, no, uh, look, I mean, obviously, first thing is first. It, it would be naive of me to even speak about any other fight uh, because, look, if I was a pitcher, which, by the way, I threw the first pitch at Dodger Stadium, <laughs> strike, by the way, <laughs> down the pipe. But if I was a pitcher and somebody would ask me, oh, you know, uh, and I'm pitching that night, and they ask me, uh, you know, uh, what about uh, uh, next next day's game? Uh, how, how are you going to feel? How do you feel? Hey, okay, I got to win this game first. I got to win this game first. So first things first, and look, come May 8th, uh, I'm going to discuss and, and, and start making phone calls. What about you? you keep, keep putting y'all as a golden boy and Canelo. He keep coming out of his mouth for his camp at Abel Sanchez now. Well, uh, Canelo's the GOAT. That's the bottom line. I mean, who doesn't want to fight with Canelo? When you're the very best and you're generating uh, close to a million pay-per-views in your last fight, you know, uh, everybody wants to fight him. How big a deal is the fact that he's uh, opened up that new team over arena with the event of this magnitude? It actually worries me a bit. It actually does worry me a bit. I'm, we're excited that it's a brand new arena, but... I can only think about me and Shane Mosley opening up the Staples Center, and I lost. I can think about Julio Cesar Chavez um, uh, opening up the MGM with Frankie Randall, and guess what? Chavez lost. And now, now with the T-Mobile Arena, who knows? You know, so there's. Don't call me superstitious. Whatever it is, you know, am I worried? Am I concerned? Genuinely, I am concerned.